in this video i'm going to open up my new asus e410 ma laptop and i'm going to set up this laptop and i'm going to show you how the performance looks like this is an incredible laptop for the price i bought on a black friday deal for 99.99 even now in best buy it is going for 150 so it is a 50 dollar more than black friday deal but even for that price it is an incredible laptop so let's open up and set it up and see how it performs the power cord is in here so just a quick review of this laptop this is a 14 inch laptop this is a power outlet this is an hdmi this is a usb 3.2 is an a type this is usb 3.2 also but it is a c type this is a headphone jack and this is also a usb but it is a usb 2 so you can use all the version of the usb here and it does not have a micro sd or sd card reader so you need to rely on something like a 64 gig or whatever it is uh, external usb drive for uh, external storage so let's uh, open up this laptop and i'm going to do a full review on the specification later on this is the power turn on the power so now it is asking you to set up the laptop windows 11 home has been pre-installed in this computer but it is in s mode that is in a secure mode so let's uh, configure this laptop first you want to add a second keyboard layout i'm going to skip that now i have to connect that to my wi-fi so i'm going to connect to 5g so that is much faster and if you see here the enter key is encircled with the green plastic it looks pretty cool so now i am connected click next because when it comes to Windows 11 Home Edition and I think even in Professional Edition, you need to have a internet to set up the computer. Now it is checking for updates. So it is making sure I have the latest version. Now it is doing the Windows update and restarting. I'm going to review the license agreement this is a microsoft uh, software license and i'm going to accept it now you have to use your microsoft account to set up this laptop i haven't gotten that email so it's always does this one so let me try a different way to do that more verification method so i'm going to use uh, text i would recommend you to use your phone instead of an email for the verification this is asking me whether i want to configure this laptop by restoring the configuration from a different laptop or i want to set it up as a new device this is similar to your iphone setup when you buy a new iphone it gives you an option to restore it from a different iphone or you can set it up as a new iphone so i'm going to set it up as a new device next now i am at the privacy settings window it is asking me whether i want to enable location find my device diagnostic data inking and typing tailored experience and advertising id i'm going to enable only two things one is location other one is find my device this gives some good experience with regard to your device this says get location based experience like directions and weather let windows and apps request your location and allow microsoft to use your location data to improve location services at the same time microsoft can track you the location so this is yes or no i would say uh, based on the description so i'm going to disable because i don't want microsoft track my location all the time and then i'm going to enable find my device this is helpful if if something happened to your device you can raise it remotely like an iphone so this is a this is a needed feature and i'm going to disable everything else this one this one 
this one, this one, and accept. Now I am at a customize your experience screen. I'm going to use this laptop for entertainment, watch videos, browsing and other things. And also I'm going to use it for school purpose, creative, and I would say some kind of business and family connection members and all that's good. So I'm not going to use for gaming. So I'm going to say accept. Now I am at the screen of Microsoft 365. So now it is telling me Microsoft 365 comes with your device. Your new device comes with one year subscription to Microsoft 365. So you will get all these things. After that, you can decide what to do with the subscription. Got it? So all looking good. I'm going to skip this part. Now it is checking for more updates. Now the setup is complete. It took about 15 minutes to set up the laptop. So let's open up something and see how it performs. I'm going to open up the YouTube and play a video song that is specially with no copyright. Otherwise I will be hit with the copyright and I want to see how smooth it is playing and how the sound quality looks like. So go to YouTube, this one, So the YouTube opened pretty fast and it's playing the music and video very smoothly. Let's go to here, go to Google. And uh, say Apple and go to Apple site. And everything open up fast. So let's do a speed test. google.com and go do a speed test speed test i'm going to run the ukla speed test let's go it is almost seven in here and normally this time is a peak time of internet use This is what you need to worry about. That's a download. Upload is always within 10 MB because you are not uploading much. So internet service providers give you much more download speed than the upload speed. So you are getting great speed with this laptop. So you can do all kind of browsing. Everything looks good. Let's uh, look at the Word Excel application. Go here, type in word so it's opening up very fast and i'm going to type in something blah 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 I'm going to save it save this pc yep it's saving really fast let me show you one more thing about this laptop i'm going to type in system and i want to see the storage information here under system you can see everything about this laptop system what is in this laptop network bluetooth and all kind of things so let's go back to the system and i'm going to show you the storage if you see here in the storage, you only have 56.9 GB total space available. But this laptop says it is 64 gig. The rest of the 7.1 gig was gone to the system files. So you only can see 
56.9 GB available. Out of that, 31.5 GB has been used. So you only have 25.3 GB available to install all kinds of apps and to store the file. That is not enough. That's why this USB comes in handy. I bought this USB drive. This is a 64 GB USB, two of them for $12. So always keep this in handy with this laptop. So this is going to be the latest USB. So I'm going to use the USB 3.2 version. I'm going to close this one. And you see USB is there. And go to, I'm going to go to the file explorer. And you see here USB drive. Properties. So you have 56, you have 58.5 GB available out of this 64 GB drive. The rest of them has been used for the system file. That's all I have to say about this laptop and the performance. So if you like the content of this video, make sure you hit the like button. Also, if you want to see more of my content, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification. All right, I will see you in the next video. Bye.